Hey guys, what's going on? Blue here. Welcome to Cuba Rhythms, the show where we sometimes do ludicrously enormous unboxings, and today is one of those days. We are definitely gonna have to back the camera up. The zooming out is what we like to do. Getting rid of cords is what we like to do. Let's do this. We've got boxes within boxes. We've seriously got boxes in boxes. Strap in everyone, we got a big unboxing video for the day. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna unbox all of these except for the Cubes for Beginner luxurious set. I'm gonna save this for a different video because if I unbox all of these and looked at all of them, this video would be like an hour long. And this, there's enough, there's eight puzzles in here. So that's an unboxing that'll come soon. But now we got all of these to work with. This is what we in the industry call a lot of puzzles. So we've got the Diane Schwang Feiyan. Got the Chi 2x3x3, thank goodness. Finally, I've wanted this puzzle forever. I got the Maylong Timer Cube. Thank goodness, I've wanted this forever. I think this is the Lan Lan Curvy Hexaminx. Here's the Shangshao Phoenix Megaminx. The six spot cube. And then we got the Chi MS set. So the two, three, four, five, and Pyraminx which I'm really excited for these, and the fruit cubes. And of course, the Diane Tangyun third cube second generation. I can't even think of a better name that they possibly could have chosen. And for some reason, my autofocus isn't focusing unless I manually do it. So that's interesting. Okay, where to even begin? This is this is a lot of stuff. I think we'll start with what we shouldn't begin with. Let's not do the fruit cubes first. Uh, we'll save the, well, actually, you know what? We'll do, we'll do the Tang Yun third generation second cube. Nope, that's not right. It's the Tang Yun third cube second generation. Now, of course, the other name for this cube is the Tang Yun magnetic version two. I think that's what I just read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tang Yun magnetic V2. Now we got automatic focusing. Yeah, baby. Okay, so in here we have a pamphlet and oh my goodness, is there English in this? No way. Let's just take a look at this structure description. So we set the magnet strength covering strength, strong to light, strong, medium light. That's helpful. I can understand what that means. Debugging steps. Okay, whatever. I like this. I like this a lot that they're actually including instructions and telling you about the features of the cube and telling you how to actually do it. Unlimited axis distance adjustment. How great is that? Note, do not twist the piece travel of the screw too tightly. I thought you said it has unlimited adjustment. Huh, maybe this pamphlet isn't as cool as I thought. Okay, we'll come back to this. This, is, this isn't this is pamphlet unboxing video. This is cube unboxing video. Okay, it comes in this awesome box with this awesome thick cardboard holder, which I will never use again. And with this box of accessories, they've got a little screwdriver. Ooh, that's weighty. That's actually, that's not cheap. That's nice. And they have another little flathead version of it. That's also weighty and nice. New springs. This looks like a core adjustment screwdriver thingy, more springs, an entire core, and another pamphlet. What is this now? This is a different pamphlet. Oh, this is the more generic one of how to actually solve the cube. Great. Okay, so in the box, there's actually a lot of stuff, a lot of tensioning tools. I like the instructions for how to use them and whatnot, but we still haven't even gotten to the puzzle and we're already like 10 minutes into the video. Let's do some first out of the box turns. Wow, that is smooth. And shockingly, it doesn't feel overly lubricated. I thought it was gonna feel more luby, but it actually feels kind of dry. And there's nothing getting out on my hands, and that's wonderful. Corner cutting, 45, beyond 45. Oh, uh, just a little bit where it can't, but it's beyond 45 and it can do most everything. 
with breaking in and adjustment, I'm sure this will be able to corner cut everything. Let's see the magnets now. Let's, let's just get a feel for this tensioning. And I'm going to come back to this cube and do a review later, so I'm not going to dwell on things for too long. I just want to quick see. Okay, so we got this there and we have our tensioning tool here. Oh, that just snaps right into place. That's cool. And you can twist whichever way. You can align the different magnets. How great is that? I think first impression wise, I like this kind of magnet customization better than what GAN does, where you have the different colored magnets and you can push them in because those things get lost like crazy and these will never get lost. So that's cool. And let's just quickly take a look at the core, not the core, but just under the center caps because there's probably customization things under there too. So in there, you've got a little screw which you can use to tighten and loosen. And there's a little indicator on the screw that shows where it's pointing to what number so you can see what your tensioning options are. And then you have this bad boy, which I guess you put on here and from here you can twist. Am I doing that right? I actually have it on upside down. From here, you can twist. Oh, you push down and then you can twist. Oh, I see. So you don't actually need to rotate the screw at all. You just come in here with this bad boy and it snaps right into place. Oh, that's awesome. So I think right out of the gate, this definitely has a lot of convenient customization options. I think it's kind of sad how many different like peripherals you need in order to do it all. Like, I mean, they include this tensioning tool, this tensioning tool, this one, all these springs and a core, which I don't know if I'm ever gonna use. I don't know why I'm nitpicking that, it's fine. Having all of these customization options, I'm sure you could dial this into a lot of different feelings and it could be really versatile. We'll see in time, I'm gonna play with it more later. I know what I can use this thick case for, I can hold all the accessories in here. There we go. What do we wanna do next? Let's go for a non-speedy puzzle. I'm actually kinda hungry, it's lunchtime. Fruit. Fruit series. And these are actually a lot bigger than I thought they were. I've seen these because all of my other speed cube shop buddies seems to have them, but I never did. And this is like actual real life scale of what these fruits are. I thought they were gonna be a lot smaller. And what? They have special pamphlets for the f fruits, this is worthless. There's there's the apple one, okay, and there's a banana one. Is there one for the lemon too? No, what? Why doesn't the lemon get one? That is just cheap. Oh, I'm dumb. Here's the lemon one, haha. <laughs> These are absolutely worthless. And we got this big indestructible plastic container. Look, it's a little smiley face. So as far as I know, all three of these are just three by three mods. Um, I don't think that any of them are anything different, except maybe the banana. Now that I'm looking at it, this banana is a two by two by three, I think. Yeah, this looks like it's a two by two by three, but these ones look like three by threes. We'll, we'll do the apple actually in the middle. I was going to start with the apple, but we got these two yellow boys and I think we need to go yellow, red, yellow. So we'll start with the lemon. These actually feel good. They've got kind of like a textured plastic, so they're not just smooth. And whoa, it's white on the inside. That's kind of like a real lemon, a little bit. Okay, it's turning pretty good. It's definitely kind of frictiony. You can totally feel the pieces rubbing against each other, but it's pretty smooth too. These pieces, like they almost line up like that, but that's not right. You gotta do this and that's how it lines up. And this puzzle will be crazy because once you start messing it up, it gets all shape shifted. And the goal is to turn it back into a lemon. Okay, this one turns smoother. Yeah, this turns actually quite good. And this one is white on the inside. And that's much more like real life. I don't know what I was thinking when I said the lemon being white on the inside is like real life. And it's got the little stem too, that's neat. So you twist it up and it gets all messed up and you twist it back and have a heart attack. Ugh! An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Don't forget that. And the banana. This one looks like it's gonna be the easiest of the bunch, but also, oh, it doesn't twist this way. I was gonna say, that'd be cool if it was like a two by two by four, but no. I'm definitely gonna put these in my normal fruit basket and prank somebody when they try to, they try to grab an apple 
and they're gonna get a big crunchy. Let's move on. Let's do the Chi Yi MS paints next. We're gonna do all of them, all at one time. First of all, they come in these nice hard plastic cases and that's cool. They look maybe a little bit dusty, but still cool having that display case and you can, you can keep your puzzle in there and keep it safe when it's just sitting on the shelf. The dust gets on the case, not the cube. Don't forget that. Okay, but then there's also, oh, I see, the case actually doesn't have any dust on it. There's this, there's this plastic wrapper around the plastic case, around the plastic cube. Sorry, planet Earth. People, they just wanna draw out the unboxing experience for as long as possible. Well, guess what? I don't mind because that means more watch minutes. And it also means more plastic on the floor of my recording closet to clean up later, which I do mind. I don't think having this plastic wrap around the hard plastic is necessary. This isn't really doing anything to help anything. And I, I disagree with that choice. So it's like a little wedding ring case. That's neat. And the cube itself. Okay, that I think is one step too, too far. Too much plastic. The cubes themselves are also plastic wrapped in the hard plastic container, which is plastic wrapped. That actually is disappointing. Like it's fine. I don't, I, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. Plastic lasts forever, you know, and it could be used for so many other things. The Pyraminx isn't plastic wrapped, that's nice. I will say that this unboxing experience is nice, while it may be a little bit long, it takes, you gotta, it's like, it's like a kind of like a prank where you like wrap up somebody's birthday present and then put it in another box and wrap that and then wrap it twice and put it in another box. And that's kind of how I feel right now. Also, all of them had plant pamphlets inside, but I'm not gonna look at any of them. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Let's just, let's, I'm just gonna fast forward. There we go. So we got the Chi Yi MS Magnetic 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, and Pyraminx. And now that I'm thinking about it, was it really Chi Yi? Yeah, it definitely was. So this is a new line of magnetic puzzles. Let's see what they're all about. Let's start with the 3x3. Here's a 3x3. It feels a little bit greasy out of the box. Let's do some first turns. I don't know how that grease got on there after through all that plastic. Okay, I'm done talking about the plastic. Let's do first turns. Whoa. Okay, firstly, this is very fast. That's almost a full, full turn almost right out of the box. Definitely three turns pretty easily. It also feels like maybe it's struggling to corner cut just a little bit. Yeah, it feels definitely tight. It's kind of doing it. Let's see, two by two. Okay, that feels a little bit smoother. Real quick, how much are these puzzles gonna cost? Seven dollars? Oh, good grief. So they're gonna be eight dollars, seven dollars, 12, 15, and another eight dollars. So these are budget puzzles why do they need these giant plastic cases? Okay, I'm done talking about the plastic. I think it's obnoxious. For some people, they might want to have these cases to keep their puzzles in so that they look nice. For people like me, these are going right in the trash. A budget cube should just have one layer of plastic wrap and that that's enough. So two by two, the magnets don't feel super strong. Four by four, ooh, this one has actual grease on it and you can see it too. See that? Yuck. Okay, this one, you can barely feel the magnets at all. This is like middle layers, you can kind of feel them, but the outer layers, you can barely feel them. And again, this feels like it's having a hard time with corner cutting. It feels kind of stiff, five by five. This actually feels the least greasy of any of them. And yeah, this feels pretty good. Not bad, not bad. And Pyraminx, oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Well, maybe not. The mat, it definitely doesn't click very strongly, so you do have to be kind of accurate. But it's definitely fast and smooth. I think right out of the box, the main thing that's hindering these puzzles from being good is that they all seem pretty tight and they can't really corner cut very well. So I think I'm gonna have to loosen them up and maybe set them up. They feel like they have potential to feel really good, but right out of the box, not so much. Next up, I really wanna see what this timer cube is all about because I've seen this, I know that this isn't anything new, 
but I still think it's kind of dope. And it is in kind of a long box, and that's because there's the cube, and then there's a pamphlet. What? Whoopsie. There's a pamphlet right here, toss it aside. We've got another little screwdriver tensioning tool, which I don't really see why throwing this in fits in with this cube, but it is nice to be able to customize it. It looks like we have an extra timer corner piece in case the first one breaks, which is an excellent indicator of a company's confidence in their products. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. The, the, the timer isn't actually on the cube yet. It looks like maybe this is just a Maylong? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a Maylong with this extra corner piece. So, so it looks like we gotta unscrew this bad boy. I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. Okay, and we pull the timer out and it's got this nice chip thing in here. And then we wanna take this battery. It doesn't look like there's anything to secure the battery in place. Unless you're supposed to put both batteries in. This is where an instruction book would really come in handy. Whoops, oh dang it. I just dropped a battery. Uh, here's the battery. Sorry I was doing that off camera, but I wasn't sure if I was doing it right. So you do have to put both batteries. You just kind of stuff them in there and then it works. So let's just put this back together. Holy moly, this is a tight Maylong. I can't even pop out an edge piece. Let's just loosen this up a little bit. The traditional loosening, not with fancy tools or anything. Back in my day, we didn't have any customizable three by threes. You got what you got and yes, you, you couldn't say boo about it. I think I, I like that you can take the timer in and out. I'm never gonna take the timer out now. So I just, I'm probably gonna just chuck this piece in the trash, but I might hold on to it for a while. There's a good chance of that. And I just realized I did not put the screw back in. Dang it. Put this together and what do you got? Bippity boppity boo. Don't sue me. And we're gonna put it in the puzzle now. So now we've got the timer in the cube and it's twisting just fine. And I can press the button. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Uh, there we go. That works. You got to hold it down for a while. So you got it in here. And then you you press the button, but you hold it. You hold it. Okay, and then when I let go, now we're solving. Da, 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 and it's solved. And then I got to press it again. I think, contrary to what I originally believed, I thought that once you solved it, it would automatically stop. Apparently, that's not the case, which makes sense because this isn't a very expensive cube. And just having this timer built in is, is a cool enough feature anyway. Needing to press it. You'd have to be like ready. I think you would always need to solve with white on top or red. You would always need red on top and white in front for your last algorithm so that you, when you finish, you're just ready to press it. And if you did anything else, it would be, you'd have to like rotate the, you know what I'm saying. But still really cool concept. And the cube is a Maylong, so it turns awesomely. And you just get done. And then boop. Cool puzzle, 90% setup, 10%. A fun time. Moving on. This will be super quick. Two by two by three. I know this is not a very special, it's not that unique of a puzzle, but I do not have any two by two by threes in my collection and I never have. And now I do. And it's a good one too. Let's do some turns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Checkerboard pattern. Now I can't do the special. Sh oh yes it can. Oh shoot, dude. Oh yeah, it can do the special shape shifting move. That just makes it so much better. Oh, that's so good. That adds a whole other layer of complexity to it. That's so dope. The main reason I've always wanted a two by two by three is because I just like the idea of holding it like this and just doing turns. This just feels good. This is something you can't do on a one by three by three and on a just a normal three by three. Come on, this boring, but the two by two or the two by three by three. Now that's nice. Good puzzle, 10 out of 10. I'm glad I finally have one in my collection. Moving on. Okay, now we've got, it, there's some of the spicier puzzle. Let's start with the land land. Oh dang, what is this one called? The Land Land Curvy Hexaminx, the Hexapura something. It is a tetrahedron 
that has some pretty interesting shapes. That is a heavy puzzle. I believe it's called the Curvy Hexaminx. Let's do some turns. It has the normal Pyraminx color scheme. I haven't gotten a puzzle from Lan Lan in forever. So it looks like it's got some curvy moves. And yes, it does. Jumbling moves, maybe? Let's see, can it jumble? I'm sh almost positive that it will be able to, or maybe not. Let's let's try to figure this out. Okay, there's a there's a jumble. There we go. Whoa. This is gonna be a very difficult kind of puzzle. And it has those moves. Does it have any other kind of move? I think it's just the edges that can turn. And even just doing 180 degree turns, it's getting super shape shifted, and it looks like I don't think it's actually getting jumbled here. I think this is just it shape shifting, but I don't think it's gonna start bandaging. Maybe it will. I just gotta make sure I'm actually aligning everything right. This is gonna be crazy. Maybe we'll get back to this later. I don't know. Cool puzzle, moving on. This is the Shang Xiao Phoenix Mega Mix. Here we go. So this is crazy. It's so red. There's just a little bit of green on top and on bottom. I wonder how easy this puzzle is gonna be. So the faces turn super duper smoothly. That's insane. This is an insane amount of smooth. And it looks like... Okay, so it looks like there's these big chunky pieces and those are the centers. I suppose it's like a Mega Minx. Okay, and then just the very tops can move too. So you can do like this. And then, okay, yeah, so it can do very minimal shape shifting just when the pieces get kind of out of whack. Cool, that's nifty. I think I'm surprised. I thought that there would be more colors or that the colors would be distributed more evenly, but no, it's just green, blue, and then red. Amazing. Here we've got the six spot cube, not to be confused with the dot cubes. That's a different thing. Six spot cube. And I'm pretty sure this is just an ivy cube. Um, It's not solved. It did a turn. There we go. I think this is just an ivy cube, but instead of the big leaves, it's just a circle. So that's neat. It says picture on it. So I guess that's the puzzle designer, which that's a good thing to see. Here we go. Here he is, it's David Pitcher. Hi David Pitcher, you're looking handsome today. More than a professional speed cube. Well, what is it then? It's, all it says around it is just the word speed cube. Also, this isn't a, it's not an, it's not a WCA event. Whatevs. Let's do some turns. Okay, okay, that feels good. I, it does have some, a little bit of maybe ball bearing snapping. Um, but it's not overly obnoxious, so doing this. You can hear some clicking, but it's not crazy. I also, I really like the circle look. It looks kind of like, it makes it look kind of futuristic. The circles are like super nice looking circles. And I know that's a really lame, random thing to, to compliment a puzzle about, but you don't often see like perfect circles in a twisty puzzle, and this, this just looks awesome. And it's easy to solve, so I'll probably be solving this one a lot so that I can feel smart. And the last puzzle of today's unboxing is the Shuang Feian. The Diane Shuang Feian. This is going to be a puzzle that is a non-WCA puzzle that is going to be super complicated. And look, no pamphlet, thank goodness, finally. Okay, so this is a puzzle that has the, the old country shades of this, I mean, same sticker scheme, but they're not super fluorescent, and I like that. This looks insane. So, here's the different ways it can turn. You got the corner moves, which, oh buddy, this is a stiff puzzle. Oh, wait a minute. No, it ha it can, it, it can do this kind of a move, can't it? No, it looks like it can't. Okay, so it just has this face turn. Oh yeah, no, it can't move in the way I was trying to make it move. So the corner turns look like this, and then you got stuff like this. Oh brother, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, so it's just these face turns, but is there anything else that it can do? Because I thought that maybe there was. It looks like there's this big chunk here and that you should be able to twist the whole chunk, but it doesn't look like that's possible. It looks like all that there is is these face moves. Ah, uh, this is gonna become a crazy mess. 
this is kind of, this feels unlike anything else that I, like, you know, you've got face turning, edge turning, and corner turning, and they all have similarities, but I feel like this is kind of a mix between a face turner and a corner turner. And I'm starting to think that maybe this is just a interesting shape mod of another puzzle, but I'm not sure what it is. So if anybody in the comments knows anything about this puzzle, feel free to let me know. And all right, guys, that is it for today's unboxing video. Thank you all so much for watching it. If you're interested in picking up any of these puzzles, you can do so at speedcubeshop.com. Don't forget to use the code BLUE at checkout. That helps support my channel very much, and I appreciate it very much when you guys do that. Thank you. And I will see you guys. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I didn't pull in. I, I gotta get the, the last puzzle here. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!